In Crusader Kings 3, there is a culture tradition called Mystical Ancestors that allows you to gain renown by granting land to a family member. You could somehow make a custom character whose culture has that as one of their traditions and also find a nation that starts off with a ruler that has several duchies, counties under their control. You would be able to cheese your way to unlocking all the dynastic legacies in the first couple of years. So that's what we did. Started in 867 with the kingdom of Transoceana, made a custom character with Melvi culture and gave him a son and got to work cheesing our way to the top. We begin our journey by first giving all the land to our son and heir, and then proceeding to falsely try and imprison one of our vassals. They in turn rebelled and I promptly gave up passing the kingdom title to my heir. Then I repeated this process over and over and over again. First, the dynastic legacies came easy. I was overjoyed with how clever I was. However, each time you take a legacy, the amount of renown needed to get to the next one increases by 500. It turned from a fun idea to a grueling slog, taking several hours of me constantly trading titles between my father and son duo, all while actively trying to imprison this poor man who had done nothing other than be one of my subjects. After eight in-game years and far too many real life hours, we reached our goal of having most of all the dynastic legacies unlocked. Now I'm asking myself, was this worth the investment of time when you could have just simply changed it in debug mode and be done with the matter? I don't know, you tell me. I've provided the Iron Man save file for you to peruse and later this week, we'll be doing a live stream with this campaign.